I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... What was it? The light seed? Gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I, I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, fears are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. Blue Isle Studios proudly presents... Somebody almost drowning, apparently. Well, that's the good start, I guess. I don't know. At least he's not dead. Or well, we not are not dead yet, so yeah. I was kind of close. Look at the birds. Oh, it's not birds, it's leaves. Oops. <laughs> Look at the leaves. Touch the orb. I cannot touch the orb. Unfortunately. Yes, please. Give me the suit. And an introduction, apparently. Okay then.
2010. Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long-lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley. Just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. That's Whee! This is awesome. And the music is great as well, so... Energy stored within the leaf suit, known as a Maria, can be given once, given to once living things. Okay. Like what? Ooh. You shall live. And run away from me, okay then. Okay, so we can take life from anything except grass, basically. That's cool. I'm not gonna do that though.
Energy capacities increase with capacitor upgrades. Find four to complete an energy canister. Okay. Note from a Pathfinder. I could watch these sprites all day. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't natural predators to them at all. Okay. And we have a new energy bar. Nice. slides Woo! soldiers piloting leap suits leap effort effortlessly through air functionality are known as pathfinders their ability to manipulate life while running up to speeds of 110 kilometers an hour makes them and let's get out of here <laughs> Service Valley. Okay. Aren't there any weird boxes here? Nope, because otherwise I'm just gonna run through this area. Like I've been doing all along, so yeah. Aha! These medallions are said to be used to access an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain entry to its chambers. Okay. I'm going after you, birdie! I'm faster. Oh, I'm as fast as the bird is. <laughs> Was, basically. Run, run, oop, well, I died. The leaf suit's quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. Okay. Cause of course that would be a functionality, right? Hmm. But life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it's fully deadened. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. Okay. So we shall revive the dead trees.
Note from a Pathfinder. Another, those acorn doors are pretty neat. Captain Hall ordered us to collect enough acorns to open all the passage ways in sector three. I'm about halfway there. Okay. So we need acorn seeds. Note from Virginia King. Sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world, Typic typically acting as a symbol of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts, such as the world tree, Yggdrasil of Norse mythology, which, provi which provides a map of, which provides a map for the composition of, of the universe, acting as a link between heaven and earth and the underworld. Ooh, oops. Um, <laughs> But more recently in Christian belief, the tree of life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to its original sin causing its fall. Okay then. Stray route to activate all obelisks. So basically, just run to the obelisks, right? Whee! Again. There we go, the job was so to find a way to get up there. Mm. Oh crap. Or I could just do this. And smash the wall. So we're going to the last obelisk. Hi dear, bye dear. 
Oh, never mind. Whoops. No, from Virginia Aquino. My mother would tell me stories of Damon. A ghostly and benevolent nature spirit. And benevolent nature spirits, whoops. The name seems fitting. It will have to do for now, until a zoologist can classify the fort sprites more appropriately. I do love the jumping mechanic. Let's go down. Oh. What now? Each boost costs one unit of energy. Okay. No from Pathfinder. Just my luck. First. Just my luck. First day on training. On training run. And what do I run into? One of those <sighs> Amarita swarms. They kept on warning us about, about in the briefing. The darn thing nearly killed me. Thank goodness I had enough energy to pacify the swarm. What on earth made them so damn aggressive? So I'm gonna run into them I'm guessing. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Well, pyramids are coming throughout Meso Mesoamerica, I still couldn't believe my eyes seeing one such structure here in the valley. Thankfully, the military had the decency to build one of their grotesque facilities a few hundred meters away. Apparently, the Pathfinders are seeking a way to get in by gathering artifacts. Yeah.
said they immediately confiscated it, said it had been so much smoke he had a mountain top. They won't let me anywhere near it. Hmm. Okay then. Let's go find it. That was useless. Whee! Yes, beat it. Whoops. The Amarita swarm indigenous to the valley are incredibly aggressive. I advise to maintain a considerable distance between oneself and the swarm. Otherwise, it will send a wave of attack drones towards the victim, like a bee's defense. The swarm will, su will suicide themselves to protect the rest of the cluster. Okay, then. And of course. Something inside, so well, I basically came from there, yeah, I forgot. No need to run back at that is then. And we have another energy bar.
When a Pathfinder dies while wearing a leaf suit, they will they are revived at the cost of other nearby living things. This exciting yet dangerous functionality is known as quantum immortality. Okay. Of course. The elevator broke. David's been writing me again. It's like a guy can't take a nap anymore these days. Sure, I was on guard. On guard duty at a time, but what am I gu guarding against? There's nothing out here. Yesterday I saw a rabbit run by. It was the highlight of my day. Okay. But there's forests and trees and sprites, I guess. Holy crap. I'm going to die. Yikes. And why did I stop running again? Okay, this is better. Nothing. 
something here. Working the pipes in this place is a real pain. It's as though they went out of their way to build their facility in the worst place imaginable, just to make it through um, lowly pipe fitters like me. Repairing a pressure system leak takes me half a day. Just to get to it, they ain't paying me enough, if you ask me. Need to get better at reading this shit. Down we go. Oh, whoops. Dying while wearing the leaf suit is an incredible experience. No one except myself can possibly observe it. The best way I can describe it is as describe it is as a daydream no one gets lost in. I die by falling into the lake. Next second I'm standing by the shore, no one else being wiser about what just happened to me. Is it even real? Swing yourself up to new places with a fiber coil upgrade allowing Pathfinder to latch on. Dead eye crane blocks. Each use costs one energy unit. Okay. So we know that now. We got a large portion of this valley mapped, so f mapped out so far. As far as I know, we've been exploring most of the acorn doors. I heard there are a couple squads with almost enough medallions to access the big step, big step pyramid. Okay. Samsara, the repeating cycle of birth, life, and death, affected by the karma fostered during one's life. Is that what Pathfinders experience, constantly dying and reviving? According to Buddhism, there can, however, be broken through enlightenment. Another 
energy pack. Chest, chest, going down for the chest. Oh, nope. Everyone here thinks I'm a liar. No one believes I got attacked by a grizzly bear during one of my runs. Luckily, I managed to extract its life before it could swipe m at my face. I got really far before turning back. I got really far before turning... I got really far before turning back to return its life energy. I hope it never sees the likes of... I know I hope I never see the likes of him again. Damn it, I can't read, dude. <laughs> so I am going to leave the reading and I'm not going to read anymore because I suck at it. So, but I am going to collect them so everybody who wants to still read them can read them.
Okay, I said I'm not wasn't gonna read, but I'm gonna read again. These medallions are getting cleaned up fast. Getting into pyramid first is gonna be t tough. Hopefully, I find more, some more quick. I want to be the first to explore it. And we have another pack of energy. How about that? That's not the right way. Wait, is it the right way? Nope, it's not. I was backtracking, damn it. Okay then. I wasn't supposed to go down apparently. Oh. Okay, I'm done. Life seed found within the valley produces once every thousand years. Uh, 
no trees or orbs nearby. Take energy from storage cells to restock the reserves. Okay. I'd give anything to be a bath pathfinder, but there's no way I'd even be eligible unless I suddenly lost 60 pounds. That'll never happen. Too bad. I bet you I could pick up a lot of girls in those things. Uh, wouldn't recommend it, I guess. I don't know. Within the Soma facility, we are surrounded by the Amrita fuel slugs extracted from the valley. As such, we tend to be isolated from the effects of the Pathfinder quantum death side effects. I was amazed to one day step out of the facility to score, to see scores of trees dead around me. trees, you know. nothing here I should be able to get out you know okay am I not able to get out of this place
Due to the power restraint as the reactor ramps up producing uh, ramps up production to meet our increasing quota, we've experienced frequently power outages. As such, I've ordered Amrita um, generators as backup power source to be temporarily installed throughout the facility. Blackouts sh should cease to occur. I finally got to see one of those orbs uh, out in the wild while I was on leave for the day. There's something surreal about them. I stared into to it for who knows how long. We better, uh, we better finish up this project soon. Those supply drops are only scheduled to arrive for a few more months. Otherwise, due to the isolation policy, we're on our own. The pilots know nothing of this operation, other than their orders to drop off supplies to this location until the end of this year. I think they were told this is for uh, this is for a mining operation. No wonder Fisher is going to be mad over our timelines. Okay. It's out to think about what exactly a life is once you've experienced quantum death. What exactly are the ingredients that make up my life? My ingredients aren't really any different than anyone else. Carbon, calcium, hydrogen, etc. Held together with some energy. So what exactly makes me, me? I guess, if anything, I'm just a pattern. One that forms out. One that forms out to be the chaotic blender of matter in the universe, like a whirlpool out of water. And when I die, that pattern simply dissipates back into the cosmos. Are we all the same universe simply expressing itself? I've been ordered to patrol the summer facility again today. I've circled through the same room thirsty. 30 times since noon. At least I get to smile at the cute scientists in the pressure chambers each time. She hasn't smiled back at me yet. I hope she doesn't find me creepy.
the reactor and thermal the reactor and thermal diffuser are very unstable and must be located both far apart and underground to ensure any accidental explosions are contained. Large vents are needed to circulate cool air deep into the mountain. Conveniently, one of the mountains has already, in, uh, has already had ancient tunnels leading deep into the heart of the mountain. This site was chosen for the thermal diffuser and weapon site. The two sites are connected via underground rail to transport materials. Several guards on night watch have reported large creature sighting. Some of them are a little shaken up by it. It might just be that being stuck out here in the middle of nowhere for so long, it's finally getting to them. Either way, we need to fully... Uh, we'll need full annual psychological assessment for all personnel in the near future. The leaf suit may, may prove to be the pinnacle feat of Pendulum. The ability to manipulate life and death using the God Hand, agility, and the ability to convent death, all thanks to the Umbrita energy. Converting from this valley's orbs, we can create the ultimate soldier. The Mark II succession will herald a new wave of iterations. The way Edson makes a show with Vir Virginia all the time makes all the time really makes my teeth grind. Everybody knows that romantic involvement between personnel is prohibited. Yet no one does anything about it. Why does he get to run around with a girl while the rest of us sits here around playing poker for the nine thousandth time? The other scientists were talking about atoms. I told them not to trust them since they make up everything. They asked me to leave.
Quantum death and immortality using leaf. Technology is fascinating. Technology is a fascinating field of study. Using this tech, a person could live out a full life without fear of accidentally cutting it short. I'll bite. The use of immortality is a misnomer. As the user simply shifts to a new timeline wherein they are still alive, this can only hold true until a particular practical timelines are exhausted. For example, an elderly man dying of natural causes is unlikely to shift into a timeline where they do not die as that parallel world is fairly unlikely to exist. Okay. So I'm going to leave the first episode here. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, well, let me know.